Sternach. The lift is also under our control. We are on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. Who's there? Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Joining you soon, comrade. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. 
There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low.